Hello students, welcome to our class. This time, you are going to learn calculating the speed, distance, and time. But before we proceed to our main lesson, we are going to have a short game. And this game is entitled, Four Picks and One Word. The instruction of the game is you're going to guess the word using the four pictures on the screen. I'll give you five seconds to guess the word. Let's start with the first word. Very good. The correct answer is distance. Second word. Good job. The correct answer is time. Last word we have. Very good. The correct answer is speed. All right. So this time, before we proceed to the main lesson again, we are going to know the objective of our lesson. We are going to calculate speed, distance, and time. First problem we have. A car travels 120 kilometers in two hours. Find the speed of the car. But before that, what is speed? Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as rate by which an object covers distance. Example, 55 kilometers per hour. The units of measurement of speed are kilometer per hour, minute per second, centimeter per second, millimeter per second. Formula in finding the speed. By using this triangle, we are going to arrive at this formula. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Or in short, S equals D divided by T. Let's go back to our problem. A car travels 120 kilometers in two hours. Find the speed of the car. Using the formula earlier, speed equals distance divided by time. Our distance is 120 kilometers. Our time is two hours. 120 divided by 2 equals 60 kilometers per hour. Our final answer, the car travels 60 kilometers per hour. Second problem we have. Calculate the distance that you will travel from North City Central School to Gaisano if you drive for 3.5 hours at 75 kilometers per hour. On this problem, we are going to find distance. But what is distance? Distance is the total length between two positions. Example, distance of North City Central School to Gaisano in kilometers. The units of measurement of distance are kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. Formula in finding the distance. Using the triangle, distance is equal to speed times time or D equals S times time. Let's go back to our problem. Calculate the distance that you will travel from North City Central School to Gaisano if you drive for 3.5 hours at 75 kilometers per hour. Let's use our formula. Distance equals speed times time. The value of our speed is 75 kilometers per hour multiply it to our time which is 3.5 hours 75 times 3.5 is equivalent to 262.5 then you cancel same unit of measurement per hour and hour then you will have 
the remaining unit of measurement for distance, which is kilometer. So the final answer, you will travel a distance of 262.5 kilometers. Let's proceed to our third problem. A bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour. How long does it travel? On this problem, you are going to find the amount of time. But what is time? Time is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action process or condition exists or continues. Example, 4 hours. The units of measurement of time are hour, minute, second. In the conversion of time, you have 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. The formula in finding the time is, using the triangle, it will be time is equal to distance divided by speed. Or we will have T is equal to D divided by S. Let's go back to our problem earlier. A bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour. How long does it travel? This time, we're looking for the value of time. Time equals distance divided by speed. The value of our speed is 252 kilometers. The value of our distance is 72 kilometers per hour. Now, you will divide 252 divided by 72, the answer is 3.5. You cancel the same unit of measurement, kilometers, kilometers, and you will have hours left. So the final answer would be the bus traveled for 3.5 hours. All right, I think you finally understood calculating speed, distance, and time. Before we proceed to our assessment, let's have first the summarization of our learning. First, we learn about speed, that it is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as rate by which an object covers distance. Second, we also learn about distance. It is the total length between two posi positions. Third, we have time. It is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. And of course, we also learn the following formulas. Using the triangle, distance is placed on the upper center of the triangle. Speed is placed on the lower left portion. And time is placed on the lower right portion. Following this, we will have distance equals speed times time. Speed equals distance divided by time. And time equals distance divided by speed. Good job, students, in learning today's lesson. This time, it's your turn to answer the following questions. Number one. Calculate the distance that you will travel if you drive for 3 hours at 45 kilometers per hour. Number 2. If the distance traveled by a train is 492 kilometers in 4 hours, what is its speed? And number 3. Determine the time taken when distance is 595 kilometers and speed is 85 kilometers per hour. Good luck and do your best!